Good afternoon, our dear viewer. Thank you for keeping it Native TV. The news in details, I'm Andrea Chavana. Government has been challenged to increase the health budget and investment in maternity services and infrastructure. If respectful maternity care is to be realized, our reporter Josephine Ozingi has the details. Government has been urged to improve the welfare and working conditions of nurses and midwives in the country so that the respectful maternity care, a right for every mother and newborn baby, can be attained. The call came as various stakeholders gathered for a three day engagement to assess progress made in implementing maternal newborn health quality of care health service standards across the country. While she presented research findings of her study dubbed What Women Want, Dr. Rose Mukisa, the executive director of White Ribbon Alliance Uganda, said nurses across the country facilities whom they spoke to say they don't have favorable working conditions, thus slowing their cope up with the influx of patients that are now coming from wider sections of the country. We reached over 7,000 midwives and some of the issues that uh, came up conspicuously was the over 53 percent of them asked to have more midwives and nurses in their facilities because currently they feel they are, the numbers are inadequate and so they are overstretched and are not able to provide the services to the best of their ability. They demanded that the Ministry of Health and Stakeholders look into having more midwife scale come on board so that then they are able to give the best reception, the best time and services to these women without being overloaded. The midwives and nurses also urged the ministry and partners to give them opportunities to attend further professional development. They requested for scholarships and for me which was a very important request because it is in the dynamic world and I want to see themselves grow professionally and be able again to respond to the demands of women and girls. Speaking in support of the survey findings, Sister Dorothy Ajilong, the in charge of Kawala Health Centre for faulted the Ministry of Health for constantly allocating budgets of Health Centre 3 facilities to Health Centre 4s, which she said slows the progress of respectful maternity care across the country. If I'm to talk about the budget allocation, I know that I am running Kawala Health Centre at still the level of Health Centre 3, much as it was recognized by the ministry that it was now to level four, but all the indicators were running, were still running the budget of health centre three. Thank you, Josephine, and many thanks to our audience. Please subscribe, leave your comments, share with your contacts, and watch out for more maternity respectful stories here on Native TV. Together we can share, eliminate the persistent high mortality and mobility rates through exercising and promoting respectful maternity care, demanding for respectful maternity care services and exposing the violators. Coming to you live from Native TV Studios, I'm Angela Chavana. Why they are gains made in combating maternal mortality from 410 deaths per 100,000 but 10 years ago? 326 deaths per 100,000 but it's still high and indeed White Ribbon Alliance Uganda advocates there is no reason for mothers to lose their lives while bringing life to this world and if increasing the budget channeled towards health specifically maternity services and infrastructure then the government needs to prioritize this increase urgently. Josephine Ozingi reporting for Native TV's maternity rights campaign.